And um, welcome back guys to the LP of Blitzkrieg 1 Invasion of Thrones So at the moment I want to set up some evil stuff here Now the way the game does this aka tries to be awesome Is that it sets up, it doesn't have a classical reinforcement Classical reinforcement compared to the Sun Strike where you know they come off map right But these guys spawn on the map So if they get any kind of reinforcements maybe I think the best course of action is to try to make a longer line on defense where they might spawn like little betches, right? So we want to be sure that that actually works. We're going to set up these two lines here, then more two more lines here, just for in case if the enemy actually arrives and tries to kill us, we'll try not to die, of course. We, of course, have two squads here supporting that one track, but um, that I don't think that's going to be that much needed. We have, of course, our officer trying to see what the hell is going on here. Definitely, there probably is something here. We do not see it. Uh, that is one of the objectives to take the railroad, a rail yard, or whatever. The station of awesome and evil and all pure awesomeness. So, there is nothing here that I can actually notice at the moment. Uh, yep, definitely nothing. But uh, might they have something here even? Maybe they, their reinforcements come from this position. Because there is that road, this is, there is this road, and of course these roads here and here. So they might get any reinforcement, or here even. You know, who knows from where they can get any kind of reinforcement, if they get any kind of reinforcement. So I wanted to use my BMW awesome sex kind of evil stuff. And so, uh, find if the enemy actually has something. Of course I'm going to try and not die. While I'm checking out this uh, railroad track, track, truck, and uh, it's called truck, mind you. Uh, so, just to be sure what the hell we can actually see. Again, I was hoping there's gonna be like a scout stuff, but definitely not. Definitely not a scout thingy. Mm. Now, let's start bombarding and hoping hoping that the enemy uh, does not mind you i may i should have maybe i should have just stand it i mean left uh, myself here because if the enemy actually has any kind of artillery guns and they're they're short range than ours uh, yeah i might i might might have done something bad here but nonetheless uh, let's try and see what's gonna happen first okay so let the awesome stuff begin so there we're supposed to take this stuff so i'm gonna start bombing this part just for in case and see if the enemy retaliates i'm ha i feel that they will retaliate but we'll see soon enough if they have any kind of range uh, like 4.5 definitely would be able to retaliate on our positions yeah and our dude is falling back oh shit 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 get back here Okay, so he did uh, one line, that's good enough, I think. But for him to actually resupply, it's gonna be a little bit daunting. Considering that there is only this thing we might be able to take with uh, something. Uh, but said my reinforcement only consists of paratroopers and one stuck here. Kinda difficult situation if you ask me. I'm gonna, I mean... Yeah, definitely a difficult situation for us, but I'll have to like uh, split my forces. Take. Let's see how many of our awesome stuff we have. And although we have three tanks, uh, so to speak, yeah, three three core units on the tank support kind of stuff. I'm gonna use uh, Panzer 3E here, this one, and I'm gonna send him alongside uh, the uh, stock three to attack the left flank and be awesome about this. You know, while I have also this dude that can actually find mines if need be. Hide him behind these trees here. Move these guys here. I'm gonna recheck the forest on the other side there. I'm gonna leave these guys here actually. These guys, these guys will check the entire area around this position. I wanna be sure that there are no humbers or any other evil stuff that might actually impose themselves upon us. Our stock will stay here for now. Just to be sure that we don't like touch some kind of nest of evil and get owned just because of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, we're going. Of course, we have one squad here also. Uh, paratroopers that we sent a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I want to be sure that this forest is clean. 
so I can move in through this area. As you can see, we have open fields. That's kind of bad for us, but not really because if the enemy actually has something here, it has these bushes and all other hedge grows, so they can't really see anything through them. Even though they are in a, this big house, they will still not be able to see behind this hedge row. That's kind of like a big fault in this game also. You know, but yeah. Anywho, you know, the, the houses are particularly fucking useless. Anyhow, to, to watch on the road. If they, any, if, they, if they have any kind of hedge grows there. So... Our Fancy 3 has arrived. We're gonna move alongside this flank here. And just be awesome about this. Stop there. Okay, so we can now move in and see what the hell is going on with my troop because now of course we have broken through one of these fences That means that we'll be able to see what the hell is going on Let's see Yeah, definitely they might have something here. I mean again, this is one of our objectives funny enough I'm going from the left to right instead of where I am now at the beginning of the level Okay, I think I, I totally forgot about this guy. So, <laughs> so that's gonna be awesome. Let this one fire there. And this one, let him fire here. I have a feeling they have something definitely in this position. And this one will fire here, maybe. Yeah, let's destroy this uh, hedgerow so we can actually see what the hell is going on. Be. Beside all the awesome stuff here. Yeah, excellent. Excellent. So we get at least some kind of view with our um, uh, BMW. BMW? BMW? Is it BMW, right? Uh, BMW, yeah. Uh, they definitely have some kind of infantry here. So that's for sure. I mean, all in all, that's for sure. I'm gonna try and locate here a target target area so we can actually like destroy anything we can actually see. <coughs> so this is gonna be awesome all in all. We are getting very close to the ending and not really. Fall back, fall back, doesn't matter. There we see some French soldiers actually. Some Frenchies are there. Awesome, awesome Frenchies. We lost the BM of Ubalu. I'm gonna send my scout in this position, my storch, just to see if the enemy has something. So we can actually, you know, locate the targets and kill them with my tanks and not infantry. Yeah. And let's concentrate our fires somewhere else now. You there, you do the middle again. Where the enemy is, or isn't, or whatever. Yeah, definitely we can see the awesome amount of enemies here. We can actually kill with our tanks. So the fighting between the French. French have a mass 36 rifles, actually. Now that we have MP40s and all the good stuff. I don't think we're gonna find uh, too much problems here. Okay, we're gonna slowly get towards this position even though they do not have anything worthwhile here. Except that nice amount of destroyed rubble that is supposed to be our resource. So they definitely don't have any AA guns in these positions at least. So the town itself doesn't have much AA gun capabilities. That means that we're actually quite open to do whatever we want with this level. You know, but again, we want to be sure that the enemy doesn't have any heavier guns. We do know that they have the goals armored uh, column of evil. So we have to be careful about that also. We're gonna capture this house. Get uh, the awesome stuff here. Yes, excellent. Secure the mansion. Though that I do not see the mansion. Maybe this was the mansion and get destroyed. The railway station is really important. Capture and secure. 
So we're getting closer to the that eviler stuff there. I'm gonna set my soldiers inside this house because again they will have you up on this position here. Be fast, come on, do it. Of course, I think we can repair the houses with our uh, repair trucks. With our awesome repair trucks. I think we can. Yeah, we can actually repair houses. I'm gonna repair these houses here. So what should we do now? I mean, we have a nice open field. We have uh, two actually, two awesome paratroopers here. I'm gonna send them on this flank here beyond the, this uh, little lake. And just be like, okay, so that's what we see. This is what we don't see and all the good stuff. Now I would love to have like possibility when I press on this building, I choose an officer or something and like binocular that part. Of course, that's not possible, sadly. But uh, anywho, it will work maybe in other ways just look through the window like this and see something at least i mean there's a nice view there you know that that's that's totally okay remember that now we are here where we are supposed to have like some kind of supplies maybe but because it's destroyed i don't know if it, there is possibility to take supplies from this now it doesn't say any storehouse or nothing I want to be sure that we don't get owned by someone from the sides here. Uh, Lachman is gonna be here. Let's drop these guys outside. Now this is the squad that got owned a little bit. So I'm gonna send a uh, resource truck, resupply manpower truck to just do this job and be awesome about this. We lost an officer also, so that's kind of bad. We can set up a defense grid here with uh, this. As you can see, we definitely don't have this anymore. So you are able to destroy more of the classical, you know, storehouses and warehouses, the small ones at least. And there is a big fire. Okay, that's destroyed. Okay, so of course because we have these three big guys big guns 1010 really it's not a big worry kind of stuff when you don't have to <laughs> Yeah, when you can of course just waste the enemy with the artillery guns or K-18s do their job properly You know just be awesome about it. Don't hurry anywhere And that's about it now what I wanted to do is Well, I what I hope to do is get the supplies there now I destroyed them myself so <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of the supply uh, I don't have the checkpoint there for supplies so this railway station might be the only one now unless we destroyed it there field warehouse that is kind of bad situation for me now kind of sad situation also so <laughs> okay I'm gonna start this bombing the crap out of these positions here you will bomb uh, what position do you think the enemy would be? Hmm? Yeah, probably here. Now, of course, we have support from the left, uh, from one Panzer three and the Stug, so all this won't really matter, because you know we can just destroy them with artillery and just move on, or we can just use our officers, aka our core unit that is, and just uh, rule the day they were born with those and get some XP. I think that would be the best course of action. Kinda. They definitely should be able to have something in those positions. Can't see anything yet, but they, we see a few bodies, and there was probably a mortar or something there. So that that got owned. We'll get a little bit here while this squad covers the positions. Uh, get down. We should go get down command and just get a little bit closer just to see what they can we see in this position while we're bombing most of their stuff here. We don't see any kind of tanks at the moment at least. You know, and their, their defense is the two pounder. I knew that it would have something on this kind of cliffs sides. We'll move the other squad a little bit to the left here, near this uh, amount of trees. Get some cover there and see what can we see in these positions. Get down. Move them a little bit here. Come on. Now they'll have to like rejoin a little bit here because 
this is the end. They'll, their pent finding is gonna screw them up. There is something here. I saw a little glimpse of something. So the crossroad is definitely empty. Uh, that destroyed. Excellent. Uh, that actually two pounder is still alive, but maybe they're gonna get those bastards uh, from the uh, from the one of those supply trucks, and maybe not. Oh yes, it, it's still alive. It's still there. So maybe they can resupply manpower, kind of stuff. Now again, good stuff that we can do this, like just support and kill the parts that we think that the enemy might be. Like a middle of this monument, well, around it it is, and just kill a bunch of stuff there. Or maybe we can just move in a little bit now that we are bombing the crap out of the enemy. Might we get some cool sights? Now, of course, if we get the supplies here, that's gonna be awesome because our trucks uh, won't need to go all the way back at the beginning. Again, that, that that's kind of bad with the stuff I did there and chose to do that kind of stuff, that kind of crap. Again, I don't like that they don't have like normal command where they go backwards. You know, they don't go like turn around, face your ass towards the enemy and then get screwed over by that. Let's get into this house fast. I'm gonna send my scout in this position now. I think it's safe enough to send it here. So we're gonna send our Storch there. It's gonna be awesome. This one has no ammo at all. Who the hell is feeding these bastards? This one squad will move here also, and around that position, so we can get at least cover a little bit area, have some kind of support. Though we do have a squad in here, so it's all good. But hey, wait, we can actually. Wow, we can actually repair the entire house here. I'm gonna do that just for funsies. Let's we'll start moving our one of our groups up front there. Hoping the enemy doesn't have any kind of a guns here. But we're gonna get screwed because of it. Okay, there is one house full of enemies. No houses here. Yeah, definitely no houses here. So there's only one house, the main the main city hall here it actually can do some kind of damage towards us so we can actually move our stock and support three around these positions get these bastards outside and put them inside this house here yeah this house is good enough And now we are getting close to the enemy. We're getting fire from this house. It's gonna be awesome. Oh shit. Oh my god, what the hell is all that? Oh my god, a Somwa. Thank. Uh oh. We have problems. Here. Who is gonna win? Of course this batch is gonna win, isn't he? We're gonna lose Herzl! You bastards. Come on! Oh my god! This dude didn't even move. Herzl is down. God damn it. From where the hell did this guy come from? They just spawned. They just freaking spawned. Like... And now this one is gonna die because he was moving like a bitch. Jesus. Like, wow, that was so bad. It was like, 
hurtful. Anyway, we lost Hurtful, so that's kind of bad right there. Jesus fucking Christ. I can't believe the Hurtful died. Oh man, I, I mean, I just was like, wow, there's a huge amount of stuff there. And that's one of the things I also don't like. Just, they just spawn. They just spawn. They don't come from off map. So, you know, they just spawn. That's bad, mind you. That's very bad. When the games like this, when they just spawn, I mean strategy games, when they spawn like this, they're supposed to be realistic. They spawn like bitches. I mean, wow. Anyway, uh, left by only two freaking tanks. Uh, we lost support here, total support. I mean, we lost two squads here. We lost Herzl. We lost Panzer 3. Just like, wow. Just Jesus, that's bad. Now I'm thinking of reloading because that was just painful beyond belief, but I'm not, and he's being fired by that freaking bastard. Come on, two of you would get Jesus. I mean, that's just wrong. That's wrong. That's just wrong. That's wrong in so many ways. That's it, that's not something I can even accept. Jesus. Doesn't matter. So again, we'll have to retake this position. That's gonna be it for this video because I am somehow crying like a little bitch. I mean, all the preparations just so I immediately like the enemy just spawns in this position. And it's like, wow, there you go. Get on. Can't believe that crap. That's Now that's a big minus for me. Not me on. I accept when I lose stuff, but that's a big minus when the enemy just spawns. Okay? And that's what I mean that the, all this that I set, set up here is useless. The enemy will be not coming from any position. They just spawned. So, if I set the mines here now, they're gonna get out, and I will be doing that, mind you. Uh, not. I'm not gonna be doing that. But nonetheless, we know what's gonna happen. We know the future. We know what we need needs to be done. And for the next video, we'll be doing that. This time around, we'll be losing less because we know the future. And fuck you, gangs, for being such a dick about it. I mean, unbelievable. Two Panzer three uh, can kill one Soma 35 tank up front, and they're also moving up front. As you can see, unless you give them the command to stop moving, stand ground. They're just gonna keep moving and they can't shoot normally when they move as far as I know. So that's like, wow. And they, I think don't, they can't even shoot while moving. And so, man, just like, that was bad. I mean, that, that was like, Jesus bad. I, didn't, I mean, wow. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the massacre that was there. I mean, all my preparation owned by a stupidity like that. And that's not something I accept in games. I mean, that, that, that was just wrong so many levels i can just uh just bitch about it for days and days of why that's just wrong you know if you're gonna set up some kind of reinforcement set up from the start you know from the beginnings here do not set up just in the fucking middle all of a sudden like they gain I mean, just pop up this is not call of duty for fuck's sake that's it